Hello darling, welcome back to Wonderland with this simple, sultry makeup look. First up, always in my routine is sunscreen. I love this mineral tinted sunscreen from Australian Gold, and I am also using this antioxidant mineral sunscreen all over my neck, chest, arms, and hands. Picking up my favorite foundation, MAC Mineralized Skin Finish with a drop of rosehip oil to seamlessly blend the foundation into my own complexion. Then I am picking up this Maybelline concealer and placing this anywhere that I want a lighter contrast on my face. I'm taking this Laura Mercier setting powder and placing this underneath the eyes and along the cheekbones for a sharper contour. Taking this e.l.f. brow palette, I'm picking up the cream side and placing this product anywhere that I want a defined looking contour. So along the cheekbones, the jawline, to slim my nose, and along the hairline. Once I've blended away all of that cream contour, I'm locking it in place by taking the powder side of that e.l.f. brow palette and placing this anywhere that I had that cream contour. Picking up a bronzer to warm up the face, then I am picking up this Wet n Wild highlighter to place over top for a little extra gleam and glow on my cheeks. Then I am picking up Becca Moonstone highlighter and placing this on the higher points of my face and on the chest to have a little extra springtime glow. Picking up this gorgeous liquid lipstick by the brand NYX, I am going to overline my lips ever so slightly. Then I am picking up a shade a little lighter and placing that over top for a little extra pop on the center of my lips. For a little extra glistening, glowy volume on my lips today, I'm picking up this NYX lip gloss and placing this over top. Picking up this Amber Eyes palette by the brand Pro Fusion. I'm picking up the lightest shade in the palette and placing this all over the lid to ensure a more blended eye look today. Picking up this warm copper shade, I am placing this in the crease of the eye for a transition hue for when we're going to be adding more depth and dimension to our eye look. Adding more dimension to the eyes, I'm picking up this mauve shade and adding this to the crease, making sure to apply most of the product on the outer edges of the eyes. Blending away that eyeshadow so this eye look is seamlessly blended together, I'm picking up a darker brown shade in this palette and I am going to concentrate most of this product on the lid of the eyes. Finishing the look off with mascara, concentrating most of that product on the outer corners of the eyes. Then I am picking this eyeliner pencil and making sure to smudge the eyeliner into my lash line for a little extra depth and dimension on my eyes today. That concludes this simple makeup tutorial. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time in Wonderland.